Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean Autotopia LA, cruising with my buddy Chris. Good afternoon. Kyle back here. What's going on? And Paul. Yep. We are on our way up to shoot with Jim at Bones Fab. Man, he's got a 64 Galaxy he built a couple years back. I've seen it a bunch of times and I've been dying to shoot this car. So we are on our way to Camarillo to finally shoot this Galaxy. So all I can say, man, is hold on because here we go. All right, you guys, this is Jim from Bones Fab. We're about to do a serious walkthrough of this Galaxy and show you guys what these guys do up here, man. So what's the motor in it? The whole motor is a reproduction 1965 based 427 camera that they originally designed for NASCAR back in 1965 and it got right. outlawed before it was even allowed. So there's not actually one Ford piece in this thing. Blocking heads are Robert Pond, the front cover is Robert Pond. It's got a Sunny Bryant built crank in it. It's got CP Carrillo rods in it, CP pistons, comp cams, cams, manly valves, comp springs in it, TND rockers on it. It's all the best of the best shit in the motor base. Yeah. Uh, we made the intake, we made the intercooler. It's got all Holly EFI on the thing, Holly injectors, Holly coils. Cool part is it's old and new. It's actually coil on plug, it's drive-by wire, it's electronic transit, it's actually got a GM4 LED transit thing. That's all controlled by the Holly Dominator ECU, which is pretty cool. Here. Two precision 75 millimeter turbos on it. It's got probably one of the bigger intercoolers you'll ever see on it. That's a six inch thick Bell intercooler core that we started wow. with. What's the power it's making? It made 1,068 at 6,500 RPM on 91 octane at 11 pounds of boost. And that was actually one of the few requirements the customer had on the car was the teardrop hood scoop. He wanted a lot of horsepower and the teardrop hood scoop. Which is very cool. cool. The chassis is actually, the four, front four feet of chassis is an Art Morrison bikini clip, they call it. Okay. So it's got their A-arms, rack and pinion, all the geometries right. And then the rear rest of the chassis, we all built in-house basically. The main frame rails are five by three by 187 wall. So it's really heavy, stout right. chassis. I wasn't as much worried about the weight because it's all down low and it's six inches off the ground. Who gives a shit? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was more worried about the length of the car and the twist, basically. Right, so. sure. What is the weight of this thing? I'm curious. It's a Even big, with it's an a... all aluminum camera in the thing, it still is over 4,000 pounds. <laughs> it's like 4,200 pounds. Or no, it's a big dude. It's mm -hmm. a, it's no, a it's, big one. How long is this thing? It's about 18 feet somewhere there. Yeah. yeah it's, it's pretty long. And it's got precision turbo wastegates on it. And the dry sump tanks behind the passenger seat. Wow, oh, so this sucker's dry It's sump. got a daily engineering billet dry sump pan and pump on it. Like I said, it's got the best of the best stuff on That's it. That's so cool how you, you hit your fillers right there. What are you running for brakes on here? It's got 14 inch six piston wheel woods in the front and 14 inch four pistons in the rear. It's actually got JRI hydraulic coilovers on it. So this is all the way down right now. Basically, it's up or down there. You can't go in between them with this setup. Got it. But for a car, you know, it's not that big a deal. So how Holy. often do you really adjust it driving? So that was your ride height and this is your parking is height? Stance, basically. It's, yeah. You could drive it right here, but it's it, it, everything's pretty low. It's pretty low right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. so your whole interior is just full race. Basically, it's got a full cage in it. We tried, you know, the customer's an older guy, so I didn't want to make it too hard to get in and out of type of thing. So right. we did the cage in a different fashion, basically. You guys did the cage in-house? We did everything We did everything on this car in-house, except for the motor machine work and assembly and the upholstery. We did all the paint and body, all the fab work, carbon Kevlar seats. It's got a little car on steering wheel. It's got a Dakota dash custom insert. We modified the dash to make that fit better and look better. All the switches to make it run and go are in the center console there that flips up. So it's an, you know, out of the way, out of sight, out of mind type of thing. Yeah. It's got a winner's gate shifter in it. It actually has power windows on the front windows. The rear windows wouldn't go down because the wheel tubs. This yeah. thing actually has full hydro boost brakes and power steering on it also. The side trim here is done in a brushed nickel finish. Yeah. And that matches the centers of the wheels. The wheels are KWC. I can't remember what they changed the name to now. They're, he's oh. down in Anaheim. Pretty nice quality wheel. So the it's rear wheel is a 20 by 16. The front's an 18 by 16. I want to say it is. So what do you run in tire size then on the rear? What the funny you... part is that's the biggest tire Mickey Thompson make. It's a 33 by 22 by 20 basically. Cool. And when we first put the car together, it was up on the rack and I had 3118s on it. And the customer comes in and says, they make a bigger tire? <laughs> yeah, they make one bigger. Think it'll fit? Put it on there. Order them up. Yes, sir. Whatever you want, sir. So. I love your side exhaust. Is it, I, I'm guessing the exhaust is all custom. That's it's all, all full four inch stainless from the turbo all the way out to the oval tip, basically. And there is no mufflers in it. And you guys make it? We made everything. We did everything all out of here. God, dude. 
It's got a custom three link wishbone in it that we built basically in the back of it. We actually built the gas tank. We built the suspension in the back. It's got a Curry nine inch housing that we started with basically, but everything else is done off of that basically. Yeah. What's going on in the trunk? It's just got a bunch of stuff in it right now. All the Holly fuel pumping. It's got the Holly brushless fuel pump in this thing. So it supports 4,000 horsepower. But it's, you know, LED taillights in it for a little modern touch in it. It's got a backup camera where the key used to be for the trunk. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's actually got a forward mount dash cam in the rear view mirror, and then that comes up in the rear view mirror also. The car's so fucking huge, you can't see out of it. So I wanted to try and at least give him a chance of not taking it out. And he did, he, did he ever get around to driving it? or He no? actually never even sat in this car. That's a bummer. He came up when we got it, the motor in the car and got it running, and he came up and he had a huge shit eating grin on his face. I mean, it's like, you know, <laughs> Okay, dude, cool. That's so, he was driving me a little bit insane on the car for a few, you know, people with money and want now and don't understand the concept of you have to wait sometimes. Sometimes it takes a while. Exactly. Yeah. I'm in an extraordinarily cool car, the 64 Galaxy that's somewhere in the neighborhood of half a million dollars and who's in the back but Mr. Bonehead. Awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, that's it for today's episode, this 64 Galaxy that I've been wanting to shoot for over a year now. I'm stoked we finally got up here to shoot with Jim, Bones Fab, and his dog Bonehead in the car with us the whole time. <laughs> what an extraordinary car, man. For any of you that are wondering, since we hadn't mentioned it yet in the episode, this car is about a $500,000 build. And truly, that's what it takes when you're building on this level, is they just get up there, man. The prices add up. So. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a blast shooting it. Thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we're up to. I truly do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. All right, man. Later.